Hey everyone, and welcome to question two associated with the Selecting Statistical Tests lecture. As usual, I recommend you pause the video, attempt the question on your own, and then watch the remainder of the video to see whether you did it correctly. So in this case, a study is performed to assess the relationship between average number of alcoholic drinks per day and average number of cigarettes per day. And we observe the following trend showed in the bottom right-hand corner. And we're asked, what is the best statistical test? And what's your estimate for the value of that test? So again, when we're selecting statistical tests, there's really three scenarios. One is comparing continuous measures between two or more groups. One is comparing categorical measures like count data between two or more groups. And the last is assessing the relationship between two variables. And in this case, we can see we're you know, explicitly told we're assessing the relationship between average number of drinks per day and average number of cigarettes per day. And therefore we know we're either doing with, an, with a regression or with a correlation. Um, and in this case, because we're just looking at the association and not thinking about you know, how does you know, alcohol and drinks per day cause number of cigarettes per day or vice versa, we're just looking how they're related to one another. We know we're dealing with a correlation um, analysis. What we remember from a correlation analysis is that um, the, the measure that we come out with is R, our correlation coefficient. And the key idea from the lecture is that R is a vector, meaning that it represents both strength and direction. And in this case, given this trend where as average number of cigarettes smoked per day goes up as we move to the right, average number of alcoholic drinks per day uh, goes down, um, you know, decreases, we would say that is a negative relationship. So we know it's gonna be a negative value. And because we see there's such a strong correlation, you know, as cigarettes go up, undoubtedly number of uh, alcoholic drinks per day is gonna go down. There's a very strong relationship between the two. This would be represented by a negative one correlation coefficient. So again, really just emphasizing four correlation coefficients. We're both looking at the strength of the relationship and the direction of the relationship. And our correlation coefficient can take a value from negative one to one as a result. If you had trouble with this question, I recommend re-watching the Selecting Statistical Test lecture. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.